Good morning. It's me again. Katpuna Bon here. I like to talk about dos por dos. Dos por dos. A Philippines, actually a rural, in rural area in the Philippines. If your houses is made of bamboo, I call it nipahat or bahay kubo. Most of their houses is equipped with this dos por dos. Dos por dos, okay? It's equipped with this, and I use this, and this is the first uh, self-defense tools that I learned from my dad. Uh, <laughs> why? Because my, my, my sister have them uh, use it to me <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> this is the uh, uh, window, uh, oh, you know, uh, what they call that? Um, stopper you know the window is stopper <laughs> when you open the window you put it up like that boom and usually they have a cut right here and they have a cut right here so to put it on the corner so it doesn't fall anyway my, my sister used this to me okay so that's why i said this is the first weapon i use for self-defense <laughs> anyway so uh this is very common here in united states you know, I walk around a lot and I see all of these dos for dos everywhere. You know, and I have the seminar uh, dos for dos before. But, you know, I just like to talk about that. It's like perfect, four feet, you know, and you have all of these tools, you know, using uh, using for the thing, you know, like a bat way, boom, using from the other side. Oh, you can do, you see, use two-handed, two-hand weapon, close range, you know, go back in. And that is dos por dos. It means two by two. That's what dos por dos means. It's a Spanish, uh, adapted Spanish word, you know, of the Filipino. It means two by two. But it's this that meant dos por dos by four because this is four feet. Anyway, uh, they can go up to, you know, um, you know, the Filipino way they can uh, use two, uh, 24 to 40, you know. But this one in particular, this is 40 inches. Yeah? yeah, that's what right here. So I like to talk about that because you know, I heard that you know when you when you say dos por dos, you know it's used a lot in riot. It is back in the 70s when the Marcos regime, they used a lot of dos por dos on the street of Manila, you know, and it's like having a baseball bat. That's what Dos Por Dos is. If you get hit by one of these, <laughs> you are going to be wondering where you are. Well, a lot of them, I have a cousin that uh, broke these legs from the riot because of this. The police is using baton, but the, the, uh, the rioters, which is those demonstrators, they use Dos Por Dos. Yeah, so this is the weapon for... Uh, actually, weapon of opportunity. Why? Because you can see it in the street. You can grab it. And it could be transferable to anything it's the same size. As long as you can hold it with two hands or one hand. It's dos for dos, right? It could be used as dos for dos. But anyway, let's talk about that. Okay? So, it, I only use this, you know, for the same technique that I use uh, the uh, four feet sword or four feet walking stick. Same way. You know? Bam. You know, that's a strike one, and you want to practice it. You want to practice all the time how to handle them, you know, in a different corner of the stick, either flat corner and then the corner itself, yeah? That's what, that's what you want to do. So you come up one, you know, you could easily go in, go up, practice that like that, you know. You know no particular thing, just get, get a hold of your hand, get a hold of your power. Get a hold of your muzzle, put it into the dos por dos, put it onto your weapon. See, a lot of time we focus so much on the weapon, but we don't really translate our power to the weapon. And that's what dos por dos, I want you to learn it from the dos por dos. Because it's, it's hard to control dos por dos. Because it's so, you know, as soon as you pass that shoulder, it means as soon as you extend it, there's a you know the the velocity and the speed will take your muzzle you know to the front so therefore you have to learn to get a hold of your muzzle learn it and you just hit and that's where hit 
go upward, hit, go upward, and then the other side, boom, same way. Come up. And then you do the redondo. Yes, look. You could easily. So. so there's so much. And then learn how to block. You see? Learn how to block. Because you're coming in your position right here. Everybody will come close, you know? And then come close right here and then whack. Whack. You know? Block right here. Hit it this way. Block right here. Hit it this way. So there's so many things that you could use this. You could block, you know? You could you block right here and hit it to the head. Block right here. Hit it to the legs. Block to the other side. Hit it to the legs. Hit it to the head. So that's how the technique of this dos por dos. Beautiful you know, technique you could apply in the weapon you find in the house. Most of the time, you go to the old houses in the Philippines. Even uh, those people that have uh, uh, well-to-do people, their houses is wooden. And most of their houses equipped like this. It's like to lock the door, they put it right here. Sometimes it's between two to three locks to make sure that nobody can get in. And on the bump, on the uh, window, if this is the one who opened, this is also the one who locked. There's a, there's a line right there and they put it right here and boom. He can't open it outside, but when he come up, they remove it from the hood and then they put it in and open it. So that's why it's common to practice them in the house. My sister used this to me one day. I got, I got in trouble. He uses me. He <laughs> bam, hit me up. But you know what? I learned my lesson. And I realized that, man, that's effective. I want to use that. <laughs> yeah. So that's common. So another one that you could use it is you, if you hold it to the middle, make sure you, you don't hold it like this. You hold it, give a little gap. Gap, shoulder width or just enough for you to control. So you can easily use the tip effectively. Hit it, boom. Like holding a gun, you know, using those culata. Oh, the butt of the gun, right? Same way, boom. Or si butt, for that matter. You know, you could also use it. You could also parry, hit it, parry, hit it, parry, hit it. You know, so those four dos is one of the tools that, one of the uh, stick that you'll find it here in so many, you know, places in the United States, especially the construction area, because they use this as a mark to measure the uh, land area. And I see them everywhere I travel. You know, I start pointing it out to my students. I said, look, there's a lot of those for those. There's a lot of weapon of opportunity. And this is why I teach them this. You know, it's part of the Guerrero Arnis training is using whatever you have that you will find on the street. If I have nothing, then I might use my shoes. <laughs> I use my shoes. I use the chinelas if I have chinelas. But shoes is enough, man. I use it right here. Okay, let's go. You know, before I use my hand to somebody's weapon, I would put protection to my hand. That's what they call arnes, arnis. It means protection. Yeah? If you like what you see, again, this is dos por dos. I like to, uh, you know, one day give you guys a real, real training of it and give you guys a good, uh, you know, feel of what those portals can do. If you like what you see, I might put it in YouTube. Subscribe. It's Gatpuno Abon. Salamat. Thank you very much. Love you. Bye.